Hello everyone and welcome back to the playlist where we are creating a virtual assistant using Python with Brian. Today's video is going to be very very important, much more important than the one last time. That's because today we are going to create a program that will write an Word document completely without a keyboard or completely without the use of hands I would rather say. All we would need is just a microphone and a mouth which functions quite properly. So all we need to do is just talk and tell the program what is to be done. It will write in the whole word document completely as we wish to. Now at least the basic functions will work like the left, right, center align, bold, uh, underline italics. The other ones, um, that, that's a little difficult. That's a bit sophisticated. That has not been added here. But I'm not saying it is impossible. Could be possible. I haven't done that. So we have included pretty basic functions and I'll tell you how to do that. So without wasting time, let's get started. So as you can see here on my screen, we just need one import, uh, sorry, one library for this whole program that we're going to do and that is called Pi Auto GUI. That means Pi Auto Graphical User Interface. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. So then why do we need that? It's because Pi Auto GUI, it, you know, triggers mouse and keyboard movements even without a mouse and a keyboard so if we just say that you know a uh, pi auto way dot press a specific key or a specific letter it will press that way as good as the uh, we are pressing on the keyboard but actually we are not doing anything it is just triggering it is just making the system think that okay the keyboard has been pressed and this is the key which has been pressed so it actually starts typing as good as we have pressed it okay and same goes for the mouse so it tells the system that okay the mouse has been moved by this much this much you know pixels whatever it moves the mouse accordingly on the screen but actually the mouse has not moved an inch so that is the use of a module called PyAutoGUI so then let's import that come on PyAutoGUI this is the one. We need to install it just like we did the previous ones. Come here, just type pi auto GUI. We get that right here. Install package. And it has been installed right now. Okay. Yep. So pi auto GUI has come right now. Now what we need to do is we need to create another function just like we created for the reminder system. Okay. That function we'll name it as define. Sorry. Huh, define write content. Okay. Now we're setting an infinite loop. How are we doing that? While true keyword equal to get audio we are setting a variable keyword and taking our input audio through that variable now we are going to check through that if a word continue i'll explain why we are using this here in string text dot lower then what you need to do again set an infinite while loop come on declaring a variable writing as global okay so writing one is equal to get audio again listening to the audio input and we're setting writing variable equal to string writing one so we are listening through the variable writing one converting it into a string and storing in a variable called writing Okay, now, now we are, you know, going through the if else conditions that, okay, if this function is, this words are present here, do this function, if this word is present here, do this function. So here we're going to start with if next line in string dot lower, string writing one dot lower, okay, right, 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 next line in string writing one dot 
lower pi auto GUI calling the you know dot press enter that's all it's so simple it will press the enter key as if we pressed it on the keyboard you know if bold in string writing one dot lower pi auto GUI dot key down not press key down so now for your bold what we need to do we need to press two keys that will be control plus B so for that what do we need to do pi auto GUI dot key down CNTRL control sorry n is on it C TRL this is a control then pi auto GUI dot press B again pi auto GUI dot key up CTRL so what have we done here is we are saying if bold is present in the input audio first press control that means press and hold control by saying key down control key plus press B and once B is pressed pre you leave the control key so it will be control key is pressed B is pressed and then both are left okay that's how control B that means the bold function is activated same thing goes for the other italics as well as underline so I'll just copy that since I have the code here already paste so for italics see I have written here for italics it is in string writing one not lower key down control press I key up control underline key down control press U key up control this is done for bold italics underline now we come to left right and center align so now what we need to do here is if uh, okay we are going to start with the uh, left align okay right we are going to start with left align in string writing one dot lower okay pi auto GUI again control key down control pi auto GUI dot key down ctrl pi auto GUI dot press L and pi auto GUI dot key up CTRL this is done for left align same goes for light sorry right and center line my god what is happening to me right and center line since I have the code here all I need to do is just copy paste so as you can see here for right align key down control press R key up control for center key down control press E key up control so this is also done now now we have said that okay in the continuous time that we will be talking in the word file we will be seeing these words and when these words are said the following actions will be taken but while typing in the word if we are saying okay center align the heading even center align will be typed in the word document now we don't want that right so how are we going to get rid of that we have to do something called dot replace just like we had done in the search function as you all have seen before okay so we have to do something called replace so I'll be just you know uh, assigning a variable I'll name it you know maybe word content is equal to writing not writing one writing dot replace as writing is equal to string of writing one okay so writing dot replace what do you need to replace center align with what do you need to replace a white space so all you're doing is dot replace this word with a white space dot replace this word with a white space dot replace this word with a white space for all of these functions you have specified so again within this back to leave we'll again type replace what what with what so we'll just type you know 
write a line with what do you wanted to replace comma white space that's it so simple so I have got the whole code here I'll just copy that So see, as you can see here, we have a variable called word content is equal to writing dot replace center align with a blank space, next line with a white space, left, right, bold, underline, italics, all with a white space. Okay, so this has been done. Now what do we need to do? We need to say pi auto GUI dot write all this in the word document. So pi auto GUI dot write you know word content exactly and pi auto GUI dot press space and continue we had given a while loop in the beginning right so basically this is this continue is for that for this while loop that we had given before so now one important thing that I will tell you about Pi Auto GUI is that this Pi Auto GUI works only in the window that you have you have your mouse and keyboard you know present on. So if I have activated this word function, the word has been opened. I'll tell you how that is also done. It opens word and keyboard mouse are not on word. So after it opens word, if you switch it to some other window, maybe the home screen or maybe the the PyCharm output window itself it will start typing on that instead of the word document so we need to be careful that when this function has been activated we should leave our mouse and keyboard you know uh, activated on the word document rather than any, anywhere else then only it will work correctly on that so now since we had said if continue then do all this but if the user says stop typing in string word content dot lower what do you need to do you need to say okay wait just you know maybe break Okay, so we have your stop typing, then it will just break the while loop. Okay.
okay so here if we say stop typing it will print exiting word it will break this loop and it will again break the while loop that we had here the infinite while loop as well so it should come out of it should stop typing the program on the word document right so this is done now we need to call the function write content so we will come down and yep if open word in string text dot lower print a white line print opening microsoft word Just copy this whole thing, paste it here, speak. So it will also speak this. Now we need to, uh, you know, open the Word document. So for this, we will need to have a Word document already present in the same folder where we have a Python file. Okay, that is very important. We need to have the Word uh, document where we have a Python file itself and we will or you know open that python oh uh, sorry the word document okay so here this is where my python document sorry python file is i need a word document right click new you know where is it microsoft word document what should i name it you know python testing okay this is your Okay, yeah. So here we have a Word document as well. Python testing. One thing we need to remember that we should close our Word document before we run this uh, function in the program. If the Word document is open, then it will not work correctly. So now what we need to do, we need to say OS dot system start start is the keyword here start what python testing dot docx let's check if the spelling is correct python testing yep it is correct so os dot system start python testing when we write this the word document will automatically open up and our keyboard mouse by default will be on the word document itself and we can start saying now here again we have given time dot sleep is equal to two for two seconds is because it obviously the word document takes maybe around two seconds to four seconds for it to open so once it opens up we will say write content one is equal to get audio now if start writing in string dot write content one dot lower print an empty white line and print say continue to start writing and stop typing to stop to stop writing okay so continue to start writing and stop typing to stop writing okay selected this whole thing unnecessarily copy paste speak so it will speak the same thing now we will call our function write content okay so basically this was all the coding required to you know do all the sophistication required and automation required for the word document we will just test it right now how it functions 
let me just check okay so we don't have any word file open okay by auto GUI it's supposed to be what have I written okay spelling mistake by auto GUI by auto GUI my god hello Jarvis hey Brian how can I help you open word oh gotta be clear hello Jarvis hey Brian how can I help you open word oh, why is it taking a set word hello Jarvis hey Brian how can I help you open Microsoft Word come on this is sad hello Jarvis hey Brian how can I help you open Microsoft Word oh what is happening is the O is coming as capital O that's what is creating a problem here okay so we need if we just make this capital O it's not no wonder this is happening text dot low is supposed to come here stupid hello Jarvis hey Brian how can I help you open Microsoft Word opening Microsoft Word import OS has already been done still hmm. oh right 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 in the naming we made a mistake never keep a space in the documents naming we should always keep that in mind okay that always creates a problem just like it happened right now now it will work hello Jarvis hey Brian how can I help you open Microsoft Word opening Microsoft Word see did you just see that all we need to do is say open word and it opens word automatically it's as simple as that hmm okay something's gone wrong here okay so we need to say start writing after opening word that's how it this whole thing will start functioning okay I forgot about that so getting back to the program we had made a error in this line in the 99th line where we had said if continue in string in bracket text that text was wrong we needed to convert that to the keyword once that is converted this whole thing will work and we had made, we had made one more error in line 102 where we said writing one dash get audio it wasn't supposed to be dash you have to make it equal to so these were two errors that we committed in this program that is why this uh, word document testing was not working but now since we have rectified it it will work so let's just run and check 
Hello, Jarvis. Hey, Brian. How can I help you? Open Microsoft Word. Opening Microsoft Word. Start writing. Say continue to start writing and stop typing to stop writing. Continue. Okay, so as you all saw, I have said start writing, then continue. So this whole, you know, automated, you know, word file will work. See here. Now since I'm talking, it's writing it as is. If I be more clear, this will write it very, very nicely. Since I am a bit unclear. See, if I be more clear, this will write it very, very nicely. Next line. Hello, my name is Brian Thomas. Next line. Bold. Good to meet you. Next line. Bold. Good to meet you. See this, this requires a lot of testing and you need to play around it with a lot and you need to be very, very, very clear with your words. Otherwise, this thing is not going to understand. And one important thing is that when you activate, uh, you know, bold underline or italics or left, right or center align, we need to actually say that once more to deactivate it. So if you say that bold, all these things, we need to say that, okay, again bold and it will deactivate all these things. Okay, so I'll say next line. Next line, italics. So see, it became next line. Remove the italics as well. Okay, oh my god. If you're noticing here, the word italics, bold, center align, left, right align, you know, uh, even underline that we are using is not being printed at all because that is being replaced by a white space. See, we said underline, it has underlined the whole thing. Next line, underline, italics, bold. Next line. Hello, my name is Brian Thomas. Good to meet you. See, it has, you know, removed everything, whether bold, italics or underline, everything has been removed. Now, since I've said all those three together, it will again start. <laughs> okay, so next line, italics, stop. Could not understand you, Brian. Please try again. Okay. Next line, italics, stop. Next line, bold, stop. Exactly. Next line. Next line, center align, heading file. Hello, hello, hello. Next line, right align. Next line, right align. Right align. Okay, see, so you need to be a little more clear when you say right align. If you say that, just write a line, it will print it right a line. You need to say write a line. You need to be a little quick when you use these words, otherwise it's going to misinterpret it. Next line, left a line. Oh. Next line, left a line. Wow, this is great. So we've tested nearly everything. It all works. It gives us space. It's writing everything pretty perfectly. So we just tested all of this. If you are clear enough, then this program is going to be as much as clear as you are with your words. Okay. So we've executed this program as well. It's working perfectly fine. 
I'm pretty happy. I guess you are as well. So since this has worked pretty well, we'll have to end this video right here. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay. Because I know, I don't think, I know you have enjoyed this. This program will be very useful to you. It, it's quite a fancy program. Okay. So please not forget to like, share, subscribe and please do comment. Okay. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye guys.